to deal with lawbreakers. All right, uh, today has been a very interesting day, and of course, there's a lot of voices to this debate. Later on, I'll be speaking to these three gentlemen. Hilary Sige, who is the senator for Bomet, is joining us tonight to talk about this. Professor Fred Ogola is also joining us, and Dr. Ekuro Kod, the party leader, Third Way Alliance. I'll be speaking to them in a moment. But first, let me tell you some of the voices that have spoken to this. Now, tonight we talk about the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops. And this is their memorandum to the government. The first thing they're calling on is appealing for non-violence at all costs and a return to dialogue. Now, the appeal has been sent to President William Ruto and, of course, the opposition leader, Raila Odinga, to give dialogue a chance. And this told by partisan talks also to resume under different contexts. And the religious leaders are proposing that they join that discourse of course they're also calling for the social economic distress and the repealing of the finance act 2023 on this they say recently the recently enacted finance act places unsustainable burden on the already distressed citizens especially those within the low income bracket and they're asking the president to repeal the finance act 2023 remember the finance act is in court currently and the chief justice has empaneled a bench of three to listen to that apart from that they are looking at the brutality method on the people the demonstrators by the police today alone they are reporting several injuries and even death tonight there's a lot of people in hospital but this they say they want to emphasize that this issue and express firm stance against such acts of violence and abuse of power of power police have an obligation to deal with criminals disguised as demonstrators now police cannot take advantage and brutalize the innocent one inch of course it's happening and apart from that they are also talking about the government giving an ear to the citizen what are the citizens telling the government so the conference of catholic bishops are saying they are particularly appalled by the unbecoming insulting and inciting statements made by a section of leadership political leadership that is that is causing confusion among the population regarding the direction the country is taking. Many things remain unclear from the government's policy and of course the direction, the least healthcare, the least education, else all those things they say remain unclear as there's a back and forth and of course it is imperative that the government listens to the plight of the people. And finally, the Conference of Catholic Bishops are talking about finding a local solution to what's happening in the country in this they're proposing local solutions that are tailored to unique needs and context of the country to have the potential to bring about sustainable change and improve the lives of the people of kenya i'll be delving deep into this later on but first here is grace nganga with a report from the catholic bishops <laughs> 